article from VentureBeat.com. I've seen none of this stuff posted anywhere else. It's been covered on a, a few news websites, so this must be brand new information. This certainly not come out by the Division 2 official uh, Twitter page or Reddit or anything really. So I just want to go over this article because it confirms, as you can see here, the date of episode 2, which is October 15th, which is what I thought. And it also confirms some other bits and bobs here. So I'm just going to go through this for you guys if you're all right with that for today's video. It might be a short one, but I think it's an important one. So it said Ubisoft said the latest downloadable content will debut on Division 2 on October 15th. Episode 2 of the DLC of the post-pandemic open world game will highlight fighting in the Pentagon. This is a pretty cool image here, as you can see. Um, it says Episode 2, Pentagon The Last Castle will be available for year one pass holders on October 15th and 22nd for all players. And just to clarify, guys, and I, I said this in my last video, the actual update, Tile Update 6, will be available from October 15th, because that's for everyone. This is simply for the narrative content. The game improvements, including conflict, uh, the conflict map, new player versus player PvP mode, will be available for all players on October 15th. Um, and then this is where it gets a little bit interesting down here, guys. So um, it then goes on to talk about, you know, when it launched. Um, the game is about a secret military organization, dubbed the division, blah, 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 blah. We're going to miss this. So let's just go straight on to this part, which is the two new main missions. At the beginning of episode two, players will investigate a transmission from a fellow agent scout in the Pentagon for the uh, perversion bioreactor. And I've got no idea <laughs> what that is. Uh, do you know what? One second. Let's just have a quick look. Perversion bioreactor yeah anyway uh, it says is a means to maintain a cell culture bioreactor in which equivalent volumes of media are somebody added and removed from the reactor while the cells are retained in the reactor I've got no idea what that means if any of you guys are smart then please let me know but it says securing the bioreactor would allow agents to replicate oh, it's right here replicate the antiviral samples recovered at tidal basin agents must navigate flood damage and Black Tusk forces take back the last castle. After securing their safe house, players will be able to access the two replayable main missions of Episode 2. So these are the two missions. We've got Pentagon. Agents will discover the location of the perversion... Perfusion. I, I think that's... Perversion is probably the right word. <laughs> a perfusion bioreactor inside the Pentagon's underground research facility. The Black Tusk have already infiltrated the lab and are attempting to extract the reactor. This is annoying me down here. A second mission is DARPA Research Labs. Players must take make their way through the Pentagon and into the DARPA Labs as the Black Tusk are in the process of transporting the perfusion reactor, perfusion, yes, bioreactor through an abandoned Cold War tunnel network. Okay, so those are the two new main missions. It doesn't say anything here about whether this, um, whether the Pentagon is going to be used for somewhere else. I really hope it is. And then it says new technician specialization. And this is, again, brand new news. Effective October 15th, Year 1 Pass holders will instantly unlock the technician specialization. Players who do not uh, own the Year 1 Pass can unlock the technician specialization by completing a series of objectives. It's similar to how we had it with Gunner, we had to complete those objectives to get it. I think that's going to be the same. Additional rewards, including a signature weapon skin, are also available once the specialization is unlocked. The latest specialization includes, and this is brand new news, we've got a signature weapon, a P017 launcher, a multi-missile launcher. Agents can lock on and hit up six enemies. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds. What does it sound like? It sounds like a weapon from Destiny, uh, the War Cliff Coil, and that's what it sounds like. Depending on ammo available, with a simple push of a button, six missiles are unleashed to seek out their targets. Sidearm Maxim Nine skill variant is the Artificer um, Hive, and grenade mod is the EMP grenade. Classified assignments exclusively only to Year One pass holders. Agents can take on two new classified assignments at Boathouse and Embassy. It says Marina. Outcasts have been moving weapons and supplies into a boathouse on the Potomac uh, River. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. I know I have. Which was used as a transport de uh, depot during the outbreak to move assets into the Potomac Center and Roosevelt Island. Agents must investigate and seize all weapons they can find. And then Embassy says a joint task force helicopter filled with supplies was shot down by the outcasts and crashed through the roof of the Mexican Embassy in Washington, D.C. Agents will be tasked to locate the helicopter rescue the pilot, and secure the supplies for the outcasts get there. And of course, this is, uh, again, this is only available for, for Year 1 Pass holders. These are the classified assignments. And you get, with that, you get some bits and bobs, like vanity stuff, essentially. And then, of course, it says the major fixes. We know about this. Uh, so targeted loot, named items, crafting changes, recal, field brands, inventory management, increased stash buys, rebalance of talents and weapons, dark zone server transfers, updated fees, then dark zone supply drop changes, occupied dark zone ambushes, Normalization and dark zone changes, conflict, load act selection during map voting, bonus armor visualization increased. I didn't. Did I know about that one? I'm not so sure. Conflict, end of match rewards changes in store tutorials. And then it says about the new conflict um, PvP mode. Wait there. 
Oh wait, there. These are new PvP map. The new Timulation promote pits two teams in a uh, four into a best of seven round uh, battle of DC. Rounds will end once an entire demo map it takes effect on October 15. We know about that new map, the Wharf. The new map Wharf is on par with previous PvP maps in terms of size and takes players to an abandoned fishing harbour. It offers tactical gameplay opportunities through flanking routes and raised positions. And then we've got a free weekend as well. Players who do not have a chance to play Division 2 yet will have an opportunity to try the game for free later this month. In addition, Tom Clancy's Division 2 will be on sale, blah, 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 blah. So, wow. Okay, so there's three things. I didn't realise that there was a new PvP map coming. So, in this, we've got confirmation of a new um, six shot rocket launcher as being the new specialization uh new technician specialization we've got confirmation of the two new main missions uh, you know we got it in pentagon darp research labs and then we've also got all the changes and a new uh, pvp map the wolf um which is good i, I was concerned that we weren't going to get any new pvp maps which was a bit disappointing so to hear that we're at least getting one is a plus i would have liked to have seen more of course but i think we always want more uh, you know, and you can't expect them to do everything all at once, but uh, new map, the wharf, so looking forward to that. And this, uh, I've got to say, the specialization sounds pretty cool. If it's anything like the Ward Cliff Coil from Destiny 2, it's going to be really strong. You can take out multiple enemies at once. Um, it will be nice to see what the skill tree for this is. We don't know what it is yet, of course. Uh, Side 9, Max in 9, Artificer Hive. I think the Artificer Hive acts. I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly what it does. And then we've got EMP Grenade. EMP Grenade's pretty cool. Um, and the two new main missions sound, they sound, you know, like two new main missions. I just hope that this Pentagon is filled with more than just these two main missions, because the Pentagon is absolutely massive. Um, and I expect them to use the whole of it. Uh, a lot of people are saying they'd like maybe some underground type thing in, in the Pentagon, and I think that would be cool. And I also think, actually, based on what this mission says about um, the Black Tusk using it to get um, the new, where is it, the replicate the antiviral samples... We may get, I mean, this could be a, a precursor to survival coming back at some point. And I said that in my last video. So maybe that'll be coming next year. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all of this. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I can't find anything official about this. I assume this is official. Um, there's nothing official on Division 2 website or on Twitter or nothing like that. But I kind of would want to just cover this straight away for you guys. So you're right up to date. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this one, please, you know, drop a like on the video. It really does help me out. Subscribe for dedicated Division 2 content. Um, turn notifications on. We've got State of the Game tomorrow. So I assume they're going to confirm all this tomorrow, but you've heard it here first. Anyway, take care, guys. Peace.